everybody, our fairy here with a quick update for you. And of course, okay, so hit the bell with the scribe. And if you want to contact me, yarnfairy1 at gmail.com. All right, you're not going to believe what happened. I have been searching through my mess for a while, looking for my finish. I actually finished something. Where did it go? Sansus is finished. It's beautiful. It's amazing. And I'm really pleased with it. And I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> this red's not from embarrassment, but it should be because I should be embarrassed. That's terrible. Anyway, we do have, um, okay, uh, a new one. Let's just start. I have planned, see the frame over there? Not one stitch has been laid. It's intentional painting though. You can tell there's yellow in the corners and then there's green following that and then there's like a blue following that and then it goes down to purple, which kind of imitates our Mardi Gras um, colorway, which is, you know, the same colors only tall. Or no, for this we were going this way. So, because she's flying. The girl is flying in her sunflower dress. This is Princess Ileana, and we have her kitted with lovely DMC. I put mine on a ring so that it's easier to access. Um, she's got beads. I don't have the beads pulled for mine. Uh, the other thing that she comes with, da, 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 da. I just love it when DMC comes up with um, tins and when designers use every single color. I was so confused when I went to get this up because it was like Stitch or Hanks of DMC starting with number one through 35. And I was like, wait a minute, no breaks in between. And number one, wasn't that the first they ever put out? I got kind of confused, <laughs> especially because you never see 35 colors all in a row like that. So she has used every single one of these colors. There's like 64 colors in the kit, I think. Um, which reminds me of Hades, but hey, I'm gonna get there one day. I got like two Hades kitted too. Well, yeah, you all know that. I have a Hade up here. <coughs> Hade, for those of you uninformed, is Heaven and Earth Designs. They are full coverage, they are hard, they are confetti, and one day I will slow down long enough to do one. So, that's Princess Eliana. She needs her spot on the board hasn't really got official spot yet. Um, okay, so pandemic, I had it kitted and I had such a hard time with the threads. First I made a black thread, didn't like that. I was using three skeins of our silk. Then I made, uh, I made the black turn a little purple. I didn't like that. So <laughs> then I started over again with three more hanks of silk. Um, and I started doing our white walker, which is these blues, really hot turquoisey blue and a cobalty blue. And then you stick it into another color in a kettle and it just, it, it makes the blue, the blue that I've been searching for for the last 10 years. It's amazing. And I'm still in love with it. That's even more amazing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going fast. I have so many doctor's appointments. So this is our new needle minder. It holds my hands. Um, the reason why I can't straighten this anymore is because, can you see? I have bone to bone and so I'm getting, um, I think he said six operations. He's gonna do them all at one time, all the left, then all the right after I recover. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> This is our new needle minder. It holds your needles and pins and keeps them safe. And the magnetic strip in there keeps you from losing them, which I think is pretty cool. Okay, Sansus is lost. Such a shame. Everybody else, I really haven't had, you know, it's really nice having this board. You guys should make one because I look back here and I see Disney and I think, oh, Disney, yeah, I did buy all the stuff for that. I, I'm missing probably, um, I don't know, a tenth of the uh, threads just yet. Anyway, it's nice to have this because I remember what I want to do. And 
<laughs> the older I get, the less I remember. Okay. So, uh, I had Pandemic up there. I now have Princess Eliana. I still haven't taken a stitch, which means I could easily put it away. <laughs> There's something wrong with me. But this has absorbed all of my attention. All of it. This is all I do. All I do. Do you know what this is? This is Anzac. And and it's, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's an acronym anyway, so I don't have to pronounce it because it's not a real word. By Long Dogs Samplers, of course. And I'm in love, you guys. Okay, so what is that? See, that's the whole thing. You don't know what it is. But they're all critters, and they're all fun critters. Like, we have a prancing horse and a flying bird and a mouse attacking a chicken. And that's the other fun thing about this. We have a gun-toting rabbit on top of what I like to think of as an alien attacking the sheep king. At first I thought it was the rat king because all I could see was his face. That's all I had. And I thought, oh, that's a rat. That's a rat. No, there are sheep all over the place. So it's a sheep. <laughs> I have no idea what this guy is. But right here you can see the ship I've been working on and here's this little swirl and I love that she's got this little lace going on and all these little designs they're just fun little motifs that have been popped in there but you know I don't I hate spiders <laughs> I like this one can y'all see mm -hmm. now I can't see oh and this is Australia could not figure out for love nor money what this was and somebody told me it's not poop going out of the sheep, but it's Tasmania. Isn't that neat, though? And this is the one that I dyed intentionally, my first intentional dyeing. I wanted the continent to be green for earth and mammals. And then I wanted this area down here with all the, the water birds and fish to be a more turquoisey color. And it, it, it did it. It's perfect. And so this area will be all the, uh, there's like a shark and I don't know who all. But um, I just love this because it's keeping me so engaged, learning what these things are as they come about and as the pages go together. And then asking, what is this thing I just made uh, from all the people has been fun too. There's even a sheep over here. For the longest time, I thought it was like a hot air balloon that I was making. But no, this guy, he's a sheep standing on a flamingo. How cool is that? Okay, now here, check this out. We've got a pelican eating a fish, and the alligators are ready to eat the pelican. It's lunchtime, folks. So yeah, we've got a flying fish over there and a little squirrel hanging out. And oh, check this out. This is the creature from like the Kraken, you know? And then uh, we have more fishes. We've got whales and a seahorse and three boats. I just love this thing. I'm having a really hard time wanting to do anything else. And it's so forgiving, like long dog samplers. So long as you're not like that fastidious person that has to have every stitch perfect, I find that I'll get off somewhere and I'll fudge it and nobody never needs to know because nobody's going to be sitting there with the pattern comparing it to my work and you know what I mean by forgiving is you can you can mess up how this is supposed to look and still attach it by just you know increasing or decreasing the number of stitches in there so yeah my latest love I've got Dun, 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 dun. Just that much done of the last page. This is the last, not the last page. This is the last strip. I've done the three, two, two strips. I'm getting ahead of myself here. So this is exciting. Yeah, and I have no idea what these things are because you just see the little tiny piece of it, sort of like the guys with the elephant, how they only saw a little tiny piece of it. The blind guys, sorry. Okay. This is Midsummer Night Dream. I think you guys have seen it already. That's my kit for it. You like how crazy I am? I don't know what's gotten into me. Probably just the fact that I have so much work to do and not enough time to do it. So recently, uh, you guys can see this on the blog, uh, WM. <laughs> I'll put the 
the link at the bottom. WMDRamble.blogspot.com I have been making a lot of purple. I love purple fabric. I've been making it light, medium, and dark. Mostly dark because everybody else seems to like dark. And so I decided... How many times have I referenced my pillows, you guys? This is terrible. But they're a great example and they're just sitting right here. So... Here's my, the back, because the front is amazing. This is Halloween Hamlet by Carolyn Manning, and this is our Bootastic, probably medium, quad, quad because there's four corners, and they're all, the four corners of my quads are all different colors. Well, same color, different shade, whatever. <laughs> Anyway, I wanted to make up a kit of threads, and uh, so far everybody has been wildly enthusiastic about it. This is our bamboo for this kit. Halloween, just, you know, and when I say Halloween, you could do like anything with this because you've got, you know, your browns and your fall tones for leaves, um, and you can add hots in there and that, We'll be happy too. Those are our bamboo. Six strands. Very inexpensive, but I can no longer get it, so we have a very limited amount. And once it's gone, it's gone. These are just DMC cotton that has been over dyed. Again, with all the lovely colors. And the last one. Midnight Sun came out today. <laughs> it's so nice. I bought it on Amazon, and today's the fourth. It was the day that it came out, and I received it on the fourth. That is really cool. Okay, these have not been put together, so they're still waiting for me, but these are the silks for the kit. Everything from purple, which if you have the dark, might be a problem, and you might want to use it on a different project. Purple fabric, I mean. Um... So yeah, again, we have, um, oh, this is fun. This is witchy poo, but unfortunately, <laughs> I was trying to dye with water as a setting agent. I didn't realize that until it was too late. Witchy poo is actually purple black and um, lime. Well, there, you can see the lime a bit. But when you're trying to set with water, it doesn't work. <laughs> and here's another multi. A lot of our silks, I like to paint them three colors in one skein. Um, like, for an example, we have um, like a burnt orange, probably Aztec gold or something in this. Um, there's three colors in there. I'm not exactly sure what the other one is. And here again, well, this is probably where the burnt ended up. But uh, that way you can, these are uh, fairly large Hanks, um, so the repeat is a good size. I think I put them out at two, two yards. So, uh, you know, you've got a good 18 inches for each colorway. And you could always just, you know, it's a, it's a, a cheaper way to get more colors. Cheaper? That's not good. <laughs> it's a less expensive way. Uh, because the silks are five fifty each, so if you get a tricolor, then you have um, more bang for your buck. How's that? I'm all about more bang for your buck. I want you guys to get the best stuff, best price. Ah! <laughs> That's my kalila. Although I do like this one too. This one came out really good. Anyway, silk takes the color better than the cotton or the bamboo, so I find myself really enjoying painting these. And like I said, the bamboo's going out of stock, so I think, well, for you guys, it would be not very much, but for us, I got a pack about yay big left, and that's it. I can't believe it. It went really, really fast, especially when I started making up kits. Anyway... Oh, and if, uh, you know, mill ends, that's the kind of stuff that yarn companies usually have in their, like, um, what do you call it? Like they'll have a knot or something that's just not right, you know, or they dyed it a shade too, whatever. 
and so it's like, you know, cheap. I have no ends, but for the most part, they're, you know, perfectly good. There's nothing wrong with them. Um, these ones are just small, like this one has three yards in it instead of the eight I need. This one has six. So if anybody ever wants to just sample our product or whatever, PM me, yarnfairy1 at gmail.com. <laughs> Do I sound like a broken record or <laughs> one of those guys on TV? Yeah, Earl Shive, I'll paint your car trucker van for $99.95. I just cracked myself up. Oh, and you know, we have a lot more stuff than just cross stitch. This is uh, Chai Gu uh, bamboo needles, and it's a full set of every size from small to large with the cables and everything in it. We have all kinds of goodies. And then I sell yarn too. A lot of the times when I have a special, like one of a kind skein, I'll put it up on Facebook on uh, the Yarn Fairy and the Pixies. So if you ever are in the market for anything like that, you can want to head over there and join. And have you joined our cross-stitch page yet? If not, I love going over there and like once a week I'll put up all the fabric that I dyed that week. Um, new threads. They're the place that I put stuff up first, stuff that doesn't even wind up on the website. I'm sorry. I'm really bad at that, you guys. It's like my least favorite thing to do because I'm technologically challenged and every time I go in there, I have to learn how to read HTML or something horrifying like that. And right now, Blogger is changing their interface. And so right now, I go from Compose, which, you know, it looks just like you're typing a letter. You can insert pictures, it looks just like it instead of just a white page with a bunch of code on it. Then when I have to insert like a button so that you guys can buy something, it goes to HTML and that's fine. It all looks great and hunky dory. But when you go back to compose, it messes it all up. It's quite frustrating. Then I had to learn how to read code so that I could sort them line by line. You need um, like your code has to be on the beginning of a line when you're starting. I don't even know. So. <laughs> I try not to go over there anymore, which is really bad because I'm so creative, so I'm constantly making more junk, like this bamboo stuff, Halloween. Ain't available. I mean, unless you write me, you ain't going to get it. <laughs> so that's why I kept spouting my email this time because, um, yeah, got a lot of stuff. Hey, uh, I've been, I, 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 I touched on these. Um, I've been dorking around with uh, making my own emollients, what do you call them, salves, uh, balm. I used CBD flowers, cooked it for five days and in oil, and it's amazing. It immediately takes the pain away much stronger than anything else I've found, um, you know, in the stores and everything. So if y'all have any kind of arthritis, I highly recommend you go that route. Make your own pandemic. Okay, so I love long dark. I think you got that right. I keep thinking to myself that as soon as I finish this, I'm going to change that because pandemic is waiting for me. I was talking to a friend the other day and I was saying, yeah, well, she's got all the critters in here. Wouldn't it be nice if she did? Because she loves ravens. I don't know if she's got one or what the deal is. But um, Jules loves ravens. So I was saying to my friend, how nice would it be if she did one, whoops, sorry, with birds. And Pandemic has birds riddled throughout the entire bloody thing. Look at this. Can you believe this? There's a man and a woman some kind of big honking flower with some deer looking things. Um, dancing people. More birds, 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 birds. Bunnies, birds, birds. <laughs> Can you believe that? I don't know if I subconsciously remembered seeing it. I usually don't like to look at patterns because like I said, I enjoy 
uh, the thrill of figuring out what stuff is. Anyway, can't believe my Sansus is missing. <laughs> I've had it for like weeks wanting to share with you guys my finish. Ah, finish number five, I think it is. Look at the pile. Could you find anything in there? Seriously. <laughs> it was sitting right there for like ever. I will find it. And when I find it, I'm going to come on here and make a little five minute thing. Look, it's finished. And then maybe I'll have Anzac finished by then too. You guys have a great time. Bye.